Hi there everybody. Uh, in this video I'm going to quickly walk you through the steps of uh, importing your data pack once you received everything from me. Um, basically when you receive the data pack from me it will be uh, in a zip file uh, like, like, uh, like so. I'm just using a sample here from uh, one customer that I've just done to give you an idea. Um, if you've done this five tier packs from me before, it's pretty much the same. So just a quick uh, run through here. Uh, we unzip uh, the file that you received. Uh, then you go to GSA Search Engine Ranker and stop all threads. What I found is that sometimes even if you stop it, it consumes memory and some stuff running in the background. So better just restart it because the, the file we're importing uh, is about uh, just over 20 megabyte uh, so it could consume quite a bit of resources when you restore a file then uh, we'll go and restore it the actual process is click in the area in the project area uh, select right, right click modify restore then you browse to the file uh, restore me dot ser and uh, select that one in the importing will start wait for it to complete sometimes it could take a minute or so uh, and then highlight all the projects that was imported uh, select right click select status and change it to active then important because we cannot preserve the the, the priority settings when I do a backup of a project you'll have to set these manually uh, to do so uh, right click on each of the tiers, uh, click priority and set them according to what I've indicated here. Otherwise if you don't do this all the tiers will all be just normal uh, which, which will be something you don't want. We want the, the important ones to have the higher priority. Okay so let's quickly run through these steps now. Uh, unzip, um, um, unzip this uh, file Okay, so in this file, uh, this is the file we're going to be working with, restore me. These other files in here, except for the readme file, which basically is the, the instructions uh, what to do, uh, all the other files in here is not necessary for this to, to run on your GSI. You can delete this, 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 if you want to. The reason I include this is just for your reference and if you wanted to see what data is contained. Okay, so let me just uh, uh, close this and uh, open my GSI search engine ranker. See, I've stopped, I restarted now. And even if it stopped, you see it's consuming 136 megabytes of memory and uh, every now and then it consumes CP uh, CPU power as well. So that's why I say restart the thing and it's better. Otherwise if we didn't restart this might be seven, sometimes almost a gigabyte of memory when it's running. In a project area, you might have some projects here already, just click in a blank area, click on modify project, restore. Okay, modify restore and then uh, you now browse uh, uh, to uh, that folder where you have extracted this and look for the restore me.ser file. See there's 21.3 megabyte. Double click on that and just wait a minute or so. It's doing its job. Oh it's done already. <laughs> uh, done already, imported it and what you do now is uh, select them all, change the status to active I'm going to open this a big screen. Active, so all the status here is active. And then now for the tiers, you see they're all showing the priority like this now, which is wrong. So as uh, I've shown you, um, I'm just the tier 1, right click, priority, highest. Tier 1.1, priority, highest. Tier 2, priority normal, 
Okay, that's already there then. Tier 2.1, priority normal, okay. Tier 3, priority low. Tier 3.1, priority low. And Tier 4, priority lowest. Okay, so that basically is it. Now all you need to do is uh, click the start and uh, let the baby run. That is priorities we've just changed now. You'll see them they have updated in here. Okay, so just click start and run. Okay, well um, that then is how you set up uh, the data packs that uh, you receive uh, from me. If you have any questions, please uh, drop me a note or stop by the site and use the live help. Thank you very much for your time.